and welcome to Lisa's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you one of my son Buddy's favorites, pasta and broccoli. The whole theory behind me making pasta with a vegetable was how to get my kids to eat vegetables. So I always like to make something that it's kind of nutritional for my kids even though we're adding the pasta to it. We are going to start off with a pot of water. We are going to bring it up to a boil. While we're waiting for that to boil, I'm going to show you how I clean my broccoli. And what I like to do is I like to cut them right at the flower tips right here, just like this, and I'll put them in a bowl. We are going to bring our water to a boil and we are going to salt it. This is another one of my one pot meals. We are going to cook the broccoli in there and we're also gonna cook the pasta in there. So, let's salt our water and we are going to put our broccoli in. Now, I know there's a theory behind overcooking your vegetables that the longer you cook them, the nutritional value disappears. But my theory on it is this. I know that's probably true, but I'd rather my child eat some type of a vegetable which has half of the nutritional values in it than not eat a vegetable at all. So in my house, I do cook my vegetables till they are soft. It's just easier for my kids to eat. So now we're going to wait till the broccoli's cooked, which is nice and soft and tender, which will probably take about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the type of stove that you have. In the meantime, I'm going to make my garlic and olive oil mixture for the end. So what I like to do is I like to use about half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm going to press about four cloves of garlic into our olive oil mixture. And we are just gonna brown it slightly. We don't want burnt garlic, we want brown garlic. Now once you start seeing this brown a little bit, we're gonna take it off the stove immediately because once the garlic starts to brown, it goes pretty quick from there. It'll go from brown to burnt in 30 seconds. So now we're gonna place this on the side and forget about it until our broccoli and our pasta is cooked. Okay guys, now it looks like our broccoli is nice and soft and tender, just the way my kids like it. When you put the broccoli up against the, the pot, it kind of like crumbles off just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to remove the broccoli from the water using a slotted spoon. So the reason why I'm using a slotted spoon for this dish is because I do want some of the excess water from the broccoli in here for the end because that is actually the crucial part of this dish. That is what's gonna combine everything together and make it nice and creamy. Okay, now that we have removed all the broccoli from the water, now look, it's still boiling. We are going to cook our pasta right in the same water. One pot meal. Remember, I don't like to clean a lot of dishes after I'm done cooking. And now we are going to cook the pasta for about eight to 12 minutes, depending on if you like it al dente or a little softer. We like our pasta al dente, so I'm gonna say between eight to nine minutes of cook time. We are going to drain our pasta now. So I've drained the pasta and put it right back in the same pot. Now this is where all the flavors come together. I'm going to add a drop of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to add the broccoli that we cooked. Now look, there's a little bit of water underneath there because remember, we wanted a little bit of water so all these flavors come together. I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan or Romano cheese, whatever you like. And the final touch is the garlic and olive oil that we have sauteed right on top. We're going to mix all this together. Look how beautiful that looks. Again, one of my son's favorite dishes at home and he's eating his vegetables. And I know I'm probably gonna get comments about you overcooked your broccoli, you're taking all the nutritional value out. Remember this, you'd rather your child have half of the nutritional value than no vegetables at all. Who's ready to taste some pasta and broccoli? Look how beautiful that looks. Pasta and broccoli, my son's favorite. Mm. Perfect, the flavors are perfect. There's just enough cheese in there. There's just enough broccoli. So if you try to make this at home, let me know. What do you think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Make sure you show your friends. Make sure you like my video and make sure you subscribe to Cake House.